Y'all ready for this? Boom, 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 boom. Welcome back to another episode of Plant Face Ads. I'm Joey. And I'm Tim. So today, uh, well, let's start off by thanking our financial support. Oh, for sure. Right? Uh, let's, let's shout out to uh, Patreon and PayPal members who uh, support the show. The last few weeks, people have uh, pitched in. I don't know if you know this. I, I've talked about, like two weeks ago, I talked about that, uh, that when we did the, the stuff from the sports store. Yes. So the ping pong, pong. Right, yeah. table tennis. Table tennis. Uh, and people have like sent me money to cover that. Like the person was the school teacher, the retired principal from uh, uh, South LA. Uh, that was amazing. And some and that helped pay for, for the stuff that I did that week. And then I had to do it again this week because uh, we still don't have enough paddles. And the same thing just happened. So, you know, it, it, it's such a, I mean, the world's a big place, right? Yeah. But the reality is when you're doing something with children, right, or with, I hate calling them children, I'm the smallest one out of all of them, but they're all like 14. But when you're doing something to help the community, yeah. you are part of a much bigger community. So thank you to those people outside the people that are supporting the show. They're like trying to help with what I'm doing as a school teacher, which I absolutely love. Yeah. So all the people, uh, Patreon and PayPal, who are, are helping us with that, thank you. Without them, we couldn't do the show. If you ever thought, how can I help? How can I be part of the, the, this whole thing? You can uh, be a financial supporter. It's the link below this video on uh, how you can become part of the team, right? Yes. Uh, and uh, next week, I don't know if it's going to be a video. Uh, we have not missed a video since 2020. So it's been four years every week on top of my full-time job, nonstop. Editing, creating, all that stuff. It's a lot of work. And I'm the only one that does it because uh, I'm a computer science teacher. That's my skills, right? Working with technology. Uh, I'm leaving for Japan uh, at the end of this week and I'll be gone for nine days. And uh, I'm going to take a lot of videos and footage there, but I just, I, I don't have anything right now. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. So just so you know, there may not be a video next week, right? Uh, today, what are we doing today? Okay, so we've got a couple goals in mind. Well, first, and the what, word is Satine. Satan, Satan, you're killing me with that Satan. Uh, right. Everyone in the comments is like, it's Satan every time you say. Who that. likes to say, call uh, Satan? All right, so we've got five goals with the video in mind today, okay. right? We have three, but three. You go right ahead. Okay, right. I got a couple goals. All right, you got your own goals. Goals are outside of this video, right? What? The, let me tell you about the first goal. Okay. The first goal is. I want all the meals to be Satan today, right? Uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, we're gonna show you all that. And I want them all to be at minimum of 30 grams of protein, which shouldn't be hard, because Satan is easily the highest gr uh, grams of protein per calorie. And I want them all to still be under 400 calories. You don't may realize this, but I'm still doing 400 calorie meals or less, right? Uh, because, you know, I'm on a limited number of calories per day and I need to get enough protein. So. Uh, all seitan, 30 grams of protein or more, 400 calories or less. Yep. So the idea is for you not to lose muscle while right. losing fat. That's exactly okay. right. Okay. And of course, we can't leave out enough meals that are filling, are satisfying. And that's a big part of our show. I don't think we show anything skimpy. Skimpy, yeah, right? Go big or go home. <laughs> Yeah, so number two, let's feel, we want to feel satiated. We want our meals to take up the whole plate. I want to walk and go. Yeah. I don't want to be like, oh, I need a candy bar, right? Yeah. Like, I want to make sure I'm satiated. So the meals have to be filled, yeah. right? Full. Uh, and then number three, I want to use our existing seitan recipe. So we're not going to make seitan in these videos. We made this a few weeks back. There's a link right here. You can click on the, the link there and it'll take you there. But do it after you've watched the video so you don't miss the rest of it. And that shows you how to make our just big seitan loaf, right? And we just peel it apart. And absolutely, we kept these recipes as simple as possible. Yeah. I, I, you know, we wanted to do uh, a stir fry. You just, wanted to do a stir fry. I wanted to do a stir fry, but it really got involved. And I really thought, if the simpler we can keep it, the more successful people can be. By the time you look up, uh, stop look going through our recipe book or looking online and coming up with a stir fry recipe and look at like all of that takes so much time. I'm a, you know, I'm gonna eat something bad, right? So, so I can't. I mean, I need to. Drag the stuff together quickly, right? Yeah, and I still think we should do it, but I'm just not sure if everyone has vegan fish sauce or everyone has these 
ingredients that are kind of out there. Right. Right. We so yeah, we want to use our existing seitan recipe because that makes 13 cervix. And people are like, what am I going to do with 13 cervix of seitan, right? Well, you can have the seitan recipe, but I like to think you could just make it and start using it for breakfast and lunch and dinner, right? Yeah. It also freezes really well. I think we covered that yeah. last video. But... All right, okay. so uh, it's going to be a full day of seitan. I hope you're hungry. Let's get to the food. Time to saute. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're creating yeah. our uh, breakfast seitan scramble, right? And the whole thing revolves around uh, the seitan recipe we had the few weeks ago that we made. We're just going to yeah. throw that in here. We so had this a couple weeks ago. Delicious. All right, so let's yeah. let's get together. We're going to start with a 12-inch uh, skillet. This is a Dahlstrong 12-inch uh, skillet from the Avalon series. It's tw uh, five-ply copper. It is absolutely beautiful. There's a link below where you can get your own uh, Dahlstrong products. I am going to do a little spritz of spray oil right there, and I'm going to turn this on. All right. Well. We'll turn it on to heat up the avocado oil that we just put in here. All right, Again, it's a spray, so it's really thin. Yeah, very thin. Uh, we, I just, we, I mean, even though we're not oil free, we the oil is full of calories. So this, this will just take a moment to heat up, and then we're gonna toss in our veggies. So we are doubling the recipe today, right? We're gonna put in about 50 grams of sliced onion or diced onion here. So we're actually putting in 100. So 50 grams of onions. That equates to about a half an onion. And we'll just kind of move this around over here, and I want to just get it to start cooking. And so we're gonna use that, and should we throw the peppers in now, do you think? So they're cooking together, or is the onion gonna take a little longer? I think it's a good idea, and then when the onions are translucent, we're, they're done. All right, we're also adding about 50 grams of uh, diced pepper, and again, we're we're doubling it here. So that's one whole pepper. Yeah, so it's looking beautiful already. We're gonna get this to, uh, you know, soften up a little bit, and then we'll be ready to move on. I'm gonna put in a little uh, salt here to squash the vegetables, and I'll just move that around a little bit here. There we go, it's looking good. All right, you can see here that it's like nice and soft. The onion's a little translucent. Tim, I think it's ready for the seitan, right? Yes. All right. So I've measured out two servings. Yeah, so this, it, whatever the seitan recipe makes, because we just make it into 13 servings, this is two servings of it. And the seitan is already cooked, right? So, exactly, we're essentially warming it up. Yeah, that's it. So we're just gonna get this hot. If you need to add water to your pan, then go ahead and do it. I don't have anything sticking here, so, so far, I'm good. I'm gonna throw just a little bit of water in here. Just to get the fond off the bottom of the pan here. Oops. Let me clean up, aisle three. All right, all right, I think we're ready to throw in our just egg, right? I think it's so good what you just showed doing, because um, that is all flavor that's on the Oh bottom. yeah, that's the good stuff, that's the love. Yeah. You don't wanna miss that. All right. So that's in there, and we're gonna throw in six tablespoons of just egg. We've doubled it, of course, but this is our scramble right here. This takes it from being a bunch of vegetables to an actual scramble. I'm just gonna mix that in there. Actually, I probably should just let it sit to the bottom, right? Yep. And do its thing. Yep. Just egg is like plain, there's no flavoring to it, so I am gonna put in my seasonings now. So I'm gonna put plenty of pepper because I'm a pepperholic and we don't like pepper that don't do this. But then we can never talk. All right, here you go. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in there. I'm gonna let that kind of stiffen. You can see it's starting to bubble now. So it'll start coming together like scrambled eggs type of thing, I guess. Well, I think it's great. And we've already, the sateen is already flavored. Yeah. So it'll it's, complement this. It's seitan, but okay. It's just we hard keep, for me to say. I know, but we keep, say getting, to, we keep yeah. getting people commenting, correcting us. I'm like, all right, you say tomato, I say tomato. What's the difference? All right, the last thing we're going to put in is about 20 grams of spinach. And I'm just going to wait for this to wilt and we'll be ready to eat. All right, you can see the spinach has started wilting nicely there. It's looking nice and green. And I think this is ready to plate up. So we've got a beautiful seitan and vegetable scramble here. All right, let's plate it up and look at the macros. All right, so here's what we're gonna do here. Uh, uh, Tim's dishing out the uh, half of what's in the frying pan. I've also put one serving of hash browns here from a bag of sprouts potatoes. And we're just gonna serve this with hash brown potatoes and I'll show you how I top it. That's a good amount of food, Joy. I think that looks amazing. That, that's a whole plate of food. All right, so the final step is we're gonna just take some salsa from Costco and we're just gonna lay this on top of here. Salsa is so low in calories, like, and you can put plenty of it on. And there you go. And then I'm just gonna take some pepper and put it over the whole thing just for a color. All right, so now we've got 
a beautiful uh, seitan protein scramble uh, with salsa and potatoes. Let's go over the macros for this. Sounds good. All right, I'm gonna throw these on the screen here, but you can see uh, we've got 386 calories and complete uh, for the whole thing. It's 43 grams of protein, 31 carbs, and 11 grams of fat. So I'm ready to dig in. How about you? Let's eat. Let's eat. For lunch, we're gonna make our Sonoma Seitan salad wrap. This is the Kite Hill Greek style yogurt, unflavored, and this is 150 grams. And this is unsweetened as well. Unsweetened, yeah. Don't yeah. get the vanilla, don't yeah. get the flavored, because it's not gonna work here. After that, we're adding in a half a cup of our own recipe of our uh, cashew mayo. There's gonna be a link right up here on the top on that video on how to make this mayo. It's just a, a cashew-based mayo. And Tim's gonna dump that in right here. No. It's, a, it's almost like a garlic aioli, so it has a heavy garlic taste. Plus, we always add an extra garlic, yeah, right? We like it that way, so yeah. yeah. Okay, what do, what do we need for the apple cider vinegar? Tim's putting in one and a half tablespoons right. of apple cider vinegar here, so that's our next little ingredient. And we're just making the dressing here to start with. Next, we're gonna put in two tablespoons of uh, monk fruit sweetener, which is using, you know, the, the zero calorie sweetener. That's the one we're using right there. Uh, you can use regular sugar if you want, but we really don't want the calories. Next, we're adding one and a half teaspoons of Dijon mustard. There you go, looks pretty good right there. And then we're putting in one teaspoon of poppy seeds. All right, there you go. All right. Okay, we'll add a little pepper here. Just a dash, we like a lot of pepper. And then we're gonna add just a dash of salt here. It's up to you how much you wanna use. There you can go. Can I always add more, right? Yeah. All right, at this point, we're just gonna mix this up. So I'm just gonna use my whisk here and get this started. And you should get a nice kind of dressing out of this. It's already looking pretty good. I'm gonna whisk that up and get that going here. And then we'll give it a taste. Yeah, essentially we're making a poppy seed dressing. I mean, it's very similar to a, like a chicken salad dressing, except we're just not using the chicken, so. As we cook, we always taste as we go. Hmm, the apple cider vinegar comes through. That's, that's great. That's, that's like a poppy seed dressing. That's what we want. All right, so the dressing's good. Let's get started assembling the salad. We're coming along with my favorite part, and that's assembling, so. All right, so what are we putting in next? I think we want to, let's get our protein in here. All right, so we've got uh, four servings of our seitan recipe. So uh, the, re the link right here on how to make this, this is just our homemade seitan. And uh, we just took, it made, the whole recipe makes 13 servings. This is four servings right here. I think next I want celery, if you can hand me that. Yep. Yep, so here we have three stalks of celery and we've just kind of washed them. This is three stalks of celery? Yeah. All right, three stalks of celery. There you go. Let's, let's get every little bit out of there, hello. After that, we've got one cup of grapes. These are just uh, organic grapes that we've kind of- these are, these are quartered. Oh, you quartered? So, yeah, yeah, they look pretty good. All right, so I'll pop those in there. And then we're just gonna give that a little mixy mixy to kind of get that all combined there before we throw the dressing on. Yeah, I kind of want to make sure the ratio looks good with grapes, uh, celery, to the protein. And how many servings does this make? All right, we're making four, four wraps with this. Okay, so this is gonna be four servings. All yes. right, so you're gonna make a quarter of everything for each wrap. Yeah. All right, so now we've got our dressing that we just made. So we're just gonna get all this in there and make sure we get all of it. Hopefully that's enough, but it should be. Should be. Yeah. We've made it a little differently than we normally make it because we wanted to make it uh, high protein and low, lower calorie. So the macros, the way it's set up right now, come out really good. Yes. All right, let's get all that combined. Let's see how that goes. Oh, that looks good. There's plenty of dressing. It's looking really good. Holy smoke. It's like a nice deli salad, huh? Yeah, it's really looking that way. This is great. So at this point, do you think you want to add more celery, any more bits of something? I think it looks good the way it is, but you know, you really could add like pickles and all sorts of stuff, right? Like it really up to you. We're going for a Sonoran kind of effect here. Yep. So when we make the wrap, we're just gonna drizzle on some pecans. So that's the only other thing we're gonna add here. But this definitely looks juicy enough to eat. It's not gonna be a dry wrap. So I'm loving it. All right, let's start assembling the wraps. Yep. All right, so for the assembling part, we're gonna use these extreme wellness, high fiber, uh, carb-friendly tortilla wraps. Each one's uh, 100 grams. 
Uh, so the macros work out really good. This recipe does make four of these, right? Yes, four. Right. So we have measured the whole, uh, we weighed the whole bowl of, uh, of the seitan and it came out to a thousand calories for the whole mixture and we get four uh, servings. So we're gonna start with 250 grams of filling. All right, and then scantily over the top, we're just putting one teaspoon of chopped pecans. All right. Time to wrap? Time to wrap. I suck at this, so you go right ahead. All right. There you go. We wanna bring it in the sides. Bring it in there. Tuck, there you tuck. Go. Tuck and roll. And tuck roll. And, roll. and there you go. All right, very nice job on that. So we have a beautiful Sonoran Seitan salad wrap right here. Let's cut this up and see what it looks like. Holy smoke. Look how good that looks, right? Yeah. Like that is absolutely beautiful. All right, let's plate this up and we'll be ready to eat. So this is just one serving example. This is a way to get in microgreens if you're wondering how to incorporate that. Very easy to do that. Or you could have just used chopped lettuce from a bag if that's more convenient. Um, anyway, this is just for photos that we're, we're showing this. But again, one more option. All right, so there you have it. Our beautiful Sonoma Seitan salad wrap. That's gonna be absolutely delicious. I can't wait to bite into this. Like Tim said, you can add more stuff on the inside. Here's what the macros look like. With just the way we have it here, we've got 375 calories, 39.7, so 40 grams of protein, 10 grams of fat, mostly from the uh, cashew mayo, and about 50 carbohydrates. This is a filling meal, and it's gonna keep you satisfied. Let's eat. All right, for our last meal today, we're just gonna make a salad. We like to sometimes just use these bags of salad. They're ready to go. They're triple washed, although we usually do wash them, but here we're just gonna throw it in just to kind of give you an idea of how this works. Uh, it's just a bag of romaine lettuce with carrots in it and uh, some cabbage. It's kind of just a salad ready to go. So we're gonna toss this in here, and I'm just gonna use about half of this bag to make one serving. And what else we, do you wanna put in there, Tim? I think it's a good opportunity to add some microgreens. So we have this already uh, cleaned, ready to go. So on a weeknight, super easy. All right, see a little power green action there. Yeah, so we can mix that up. All right, way to go there. All right, what else is going in here? Um, next would be our satin. All right, so we're gonna take our uh, seitan, uh, Tim, and oh. uh, throw that in there. That's just one serving of our uh, recipe that we have here. All right, there you go. It's looking good right there. Then Tim's got some other stuff he's uh, putting in here. Yeah, I just um, cut up some tomato here. And we're gonna pop that in, a little bit of... Uh, then I quartered up some right cucumber, yeah. All right, there you go. It's looking pretty good right there. Although I can't stand cucumbers, but there you go. If you don't like cucumber, you could always chop up some celery. Just gives another, it's a textural thing, right? A little bit of crunch. All right, then we're just gonna kind of mix this up together right before we throw in our dressing. All right. Well, looks like plenty of opportunity there for a full meal. And this is making one serving, so. Yeah, this is our favorite dressing you've come up with, right? Yeah, so this is the, the cashew powder maple ranch. There'll be a uh, recipe up on top of here. I've made this many times in many videos. I'm just gonna layer it in here. And it does get thicker when you leave it in the uh, fridge. I just made it a little bit ago here, but usually I leave it in the refrigerator for a few hours and it's much thicker. All right. All right, so now I'm just gonna kind of mix this all together. There you go. Got a lot going so on to here. me, this looks so delicious, but what are our macros on this now? So it's really kind of based on our uh, recipe. So one serving is 143 calories for the seitan, and it's about 28 grams of protein. The rest of the stuff that we've thrown in, the, the lettuce, like a lettuce has nothing. It's maybe 20 calories, right? right? right. Uh, there's cucumbers too, they're, they're, and tomatoes. They're water-based, so there's just not a lot of calories. So maybe add 50 calories for the rest of it. So What about maybe, the dressing? Yeah, well, that's about uh, 75 or 80 calories. So you got okay. about 50 calories, so 200 calories plus the dressing. So you're looking at about, I don't know, 255 calories maybe, maybe less than, just under 300 for about you know 29 or 30 grams of protein. Yeah. So, so for at night, this works. This is a pretty good option yeah. here. So uh, we're gonna get to eating this because we're not really starving, but we're just gonna split this one serving, a half a serving each. But I mean, take a look at this, right? Like, look how good that looks. You've got all of your greens there. You've got your seitan right here, your chunks of seitan right there. You've got your vegetables, and it looks like there's plenty of dressing right there. I just put the whole recipe in. 
So three recipes here, all seitan based, right? Exactly. Full of protein. And they're all very easy to make. Perfect if you're on a high protein lifestyle. All right, so a whole day of seitan. Yes. I think we should go over what we could modify or do differently um, just so you guys know that you have a license to, to, to modify what yeah. we did. Yeah. So starting with breakfast, for example. Now, you know, some people don't have a taste buds for spice, others do. Mm -hmm. So you totally could add low calorie vegetables. So if you wanted, you know, a bunch of different peppers or if you wanted a jalapeno pepper to go in there, feel free to do that. I mean, and you could load that up with squash. Yeah. Squash has like almost no calories. Yeah. Like you could throw stuff in that's low calorie. Yeah. All right. Moving to lunch. This is the wrap. So the wrap is great. It, you may look at it and go, it's just one wrap. It is a filling wrap, but you can have a salad with that, right? Have a little side salad with uh, just lemon on top of that. And the calories really were calories. so low on yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. And you don't have to have as much uh, sauce as we had. So you could even cut the calories back a yeah. little bit on that. Yeah. Um, I, I think I would have put some lettuce and tomato in that wrap. Um, we didn't do that just to keep it simple, but those are things that you could do to, to modify that for sure. And then watch your tortilla. Like the tortilla we had was uh, like a, it's 100 a calories. fibers, yeah, fiber force one, but there are like there are spinach wraps, other oh, yeah. things like that, ancient grain, like you totally can modify that as well. Yeah, for sure. And then the salad for dinner, uh, we kept that really low in calories. Uh, it was like probably under 300 calories. You can load that thing up with nuts and seeds and hemp and all that stuff. If you're not worried about 400 calories, throw that stuff in. Yeah, right? absolutely. Like, the dressing is a winner and then showing the sateen to get protein in that is great. Yeah. There, there's also, uh, you know, there's a friend I have that um, uses lemon instead of dressing on the salad. You absolutely can sa saute the the sat seitan 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 uh, with some lemon and bring out that flavor as well lemon pepper so you could modify that as well but to give you an idea like sometimes we don't have a lot of calories at the end of our day on a non-workout day yeah. so salad fits the bill and i think that's what we wanted to show that yeah so you can do all of that stuff if you're looking for the recipes they're all at www.plantbaseddads.net yes. that's our website yeah. uh you most of the recipes you go to the website go to recipes there's not any stories about our lives or anything like that there's just the recipes and you bring those up and there's usually a printable pdf yep. in the recipe yep. where you just click on it and print that now this week we didn't really make anything from a recipe, like the salad, we just threw stuff together. The wrap, we just threw stuff together. But right? there are so, links though, to find the dressing, to find the satin. Oh, yeah, 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 that stuff's there. And the satin recipe. Be link, there'll be a link below yeah. uh, for the satin recipe. There'll be a link below this video. We're gonna get like 30 comments of people who, who have to correct us because you said that wrong. Uh, they're just gonna have to get over it. It's just it. so much better than saying sat satan. So. Yeah, I, we're, no one's saying satan, we're not um, cooking satan. Okay, and then one last thing about the webpage. I don't think we have a lot of advertising. It should load in your browser really fast, easy. Yeah. Uh, so it's not going to be a nightmare if some of you have an older, slower computer. So. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, that's our video for today. I would like to ask you to please click on the subscribe button yes. and, and become a uh, member of the Plant Based Heads family. So this is a free channel, right? Everything here is free. There's no membership. We're not behind a paywall. Uh, you're welcome to support us with PayPal and Patreon. We'd love that. But really, the videos come out either way. Now, the PayPal and Patreon supporters get the videos a few days early which is the only benefit we really have to offer at this point. Uh, but everything we're doing, the, the website with the printable PDFs, the chronometer sharing, the macros, if we're friends on a problem, like all of that, the recipes, everything, it's all free. There's no, I don't want to do a, I hate the idea of doing a membership. Uh, so I continue to just, and this is a full-time job, so I continue to do this for free. And the only really way to do that and to continue that is for the channel to grow, right? Yeah, no, I appreciate you adding value for sure. Sure. And then how does the channel grow? I think it's with the subscribing. Yeah, subscribing helps the channel grow. And that's really the only way we can continue to do this with, uh, you know, without doing a membership. And we so, both love all the comments, you guys. So we need you to click on the subscribe button, click that bell and help us out. And leave a comment below. So, so a lot of you have comments that you're making this seitan recipe and you, or you made you always make seitan and uh, you absolutely love it. Are you making seitan? Have you been afraid to make it? If not, like, you need to look at it. It's very simple, right? It's not too bad at all. All right, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.